Hi, this is Mike Schmitz, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. This week, we'll be taking a look at Task Paper for the Mac, an extremely flexible and deceptively powerful plain text task manager. The big advantage of Task Paper is that plain text makes it incredibly easy to just jot down a bunch of things in a quick list. So it may not look as flashy as OmniFocus or Things, but with some simple plain text formatting, you can make Task Paper do just about anything those two applications can. And even if you don't use the Task Paper app itself, you can still benefit from understanding how it handles the simple plain text syntax for managing tasks and projects. So for example, if you wanted to create an iOS shortcut for a project template in OmniFocus, you're still going to need to know how to read and write Task Paper formatting. So in this episode, we'll walk you through how Task Paper handles projects, tasks, tags, and notes, and we'll show you how to set up custom searches, import and export from the Reminders application, customize the style sheets, and install scripts to extend the functionality of Task Paper so it can do just about anything you might want. To get started with Task Paper, you first need to download and install it, and there's a couple ways that you can do that. You can find out everything you need to know about the application at taskpaper.com, which also has links to the guide, which will show you how to use Task Paper, and a bunch of extensions and themes that you can download and plug into Task Paper to extend it beyond its capabilities out of the box. That's one of the beautiful things about Task Paper is it is a simple application. It's a plain text to-do list, but you can make it do just about anything that you want. And we're going to show you a couple examples of those extensions and style sheets in this tutorial. But if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see there's a link to download a trial version of Task Paper, and you can also buy the application straight from the developer by clicking the Buy Now button. This opens up a pop-up paddle checkout form, and you can purchase Task Paper for $24.99 US dollars directly from Hogbay Software. So if you prefer to buy directly from the developer to support them, there's an option to do that, but there are limitations with this. Task Paper Personal is licensed on all of your computers, but if you're going to use it in a work setting, it's limited to one device. So if you prefer something like the App Store, which allows you to use it on up to five computers, you can scroll down to the bottom of this page and you can download the application from the Mac App Store for the exact same price. There is one additional option, and that is to use the application as part of your set app subscription. So if you have a set app subscription, which is $9.99 US dollars, you can get access to Task Paper, Ulysses, iStat menus, and a whole bunch of other awesome applications. That's actually how I found out about Task Paper. It was already included in the set app subscription that I currently had. Regardless of the version that you choose, it's going to function the same. So let's open up Task Paper and dive into this tutorial. The first time that you open Task Paper, it's going to ask you which document you want to open. And because it's plain text, you can locate a plain text document on your computer, or you can click New Document. Task Paper will remember documents that are open when you quit, though, and restore them when you next open Task Paper. But if you close the documents before you quit Task Paper, then it's not going to work. Also, you need to make sure that System Preferences, General, Close Windows when quitting an app is not checked. All right, let's click New Document to create a new Task Paper document. And when we open a new document, there's actually a little bit of a tutorial that opens up here, which explains how projects and tasks and notes and things like that work inside of Task Paper. I'm going to get rid of this. We're going to walk you through everything that you need to know about Task Paper, and we're going to start from scratch. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. 
Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.